Okay, what's up guys? So, here's the deal. I'm gonna let the intro play just as it would normally. There's a few things that happened while we were there that made me kinda edit this video a different way. You're gonna see me in the car, we're gonna get a couple shots, then we're gonna come back here. I'll explain here in a little bit exactly why. For those of you who don't know, I am in Iowa, eight hours to Lansing, Michigan. Uh, I got a couple shots, a couple cool shots. There's one shot of the Mississippi that I got in particular that I've always wanted to get. security probably within oh I'd say probably five minutes of being there now I get a couple comments that this place is in the hood it's in the ghetto blah 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 look I mean this is industrial neighborhoods at their finest this this is exactly it's no different here in Des Moines I've seen a lot worse I've seen a lot better it's just another neighborhood I pulled up and I can't remember I think it was William Street but I pulled up and uh, here I'll just show you the video. It's a public road. Oh, woo! Here, before you know it, here comes security. And I'm not kidding. I guess that this break-in stuff is pretty, it's pretty common. I wouldn't say it's every weekend, but I would guess that this is pretty common occurrence. But literally, that 10 second little clip right there was exact, that's all it took for security to be come, coming over. Two cars approached. There was one car across the street behind us. 
on the other side of William Street there. Uh, like I said, they were taking pictures of my license plate, asking who we were, what were we doing here, blah, blah, blah. That's cool, whatever. I, you know, I told them, um, which, you know, we're not breaking any laws. We're not doing anything wrong. Still not. Uh, I wanted to vlog, I want, wanted to actually like get on ground zero, walk up to the cars and everything, but uh, no, they, they will follow you. I wasn't giving up. We're not doing anything wrong. We are on public property and I did not need any more negative attention or any more, yeah, just attention brought to you that uh, was unnecessary. So just said, hey, you know, sorry. It was good to talk to you. We'll be on our way. Because it kind of did talk to security a little bit there. Uh, I guess they do like tours. I guess uh, that would have been nice to know before I drove all the way up there. Um, I guess Monday through Friday, you know, especially pre-COVID, they did tours of where you could actually walk through the plant. You'd have a guided tour. They would, you know, while the cars are being built. I guess that they were saying that they can crank out up to like 400 cars per shift. I don't know if that's still the case, but here's the deal. They say that this place has a total rate, you know, rated capacity, which is normally like 5,000. He said they're up over 10,000 now. So, I mean, um, dude, that place, it, it, it's like being inside of an anthill with cars. I was, we were totally just blown away. You can look to the left, look to the right. There was just cars, Camaros and Cadillacs, you'll see, uh, just parked everywhere. We did not cross any private property. We did not cross any lines at all. We stayed on public grounds, public property. Now, I guess that there was a second location that GM has, which is called Autoport. I, and correct me if I'm saying that wrong. I know you guys will. The second location is where completed cars are held and they're waiting to go everywhere, like globally. And these cars, all cars. Now I thought ZL1s were excluded from rail cars because of the sparks and the rain, or the, you know, the rail dust. Uh, just a lot of, you know, the window of exposure that you have for damage as far as like being on a train. But I guess not. So there are ZL1s, they go on trains too, man. So I kind of stood at one corner. We got a shot of that auto port area. My car did connect. So this is where I believe my car to be, and this is where my dealer said my car is. So we were trying desperately to get this thing to connect. We were trying to flash the lights, honk the horn, lock the doors, blah, blah, do whatever we could to get attention, you know, to try to get the lights to flash or make some noises or whatever. Uh, I don't know if this car being in demo mode or whatever, because it's not been, you know, delivered to the dealer and went through a PDI yet. I don't know if OnStar is not working. I'm gonna say this, beware guys, if you purchase the vehicle and the OnStar is connected, where it says it is, is not the truth. It is not accurate because my car still says it is over at 920 Lansing and my dealer is telling me it is over at Autoport. Now my car did connect over at Autoport. Uh, no lights flash, no, the horn didn't make any signals, nothing. So we went back at night and I'll show you a shot of that.
You can go back and see, uh, they actually have like ramps to load these cars up onto the rail cars. It's pretty cool operation. And I would be very interested to go back and see if we couldn't get like a guided tour, uh, rather as opposed to, you know, <laughs> no, going in like we did. Who knows, that might be in the future sometime. Don't know. Now, as far as the Lansing plant goes, and this is a plant where they're assembled, and this is where all Camaros, even my 2019, which I was driving, which I thought was pretty cool. Once you're back there, it's it's really cool. That whole plant, it's you can tell, it's got a lot of nostalgia. And I guess security was telling us that this is the plant where Oldsmobile started at. Uh, there's a lot of people waiting on cars, and you can tell that right away. When you pull up, you see all these cars sitting. They're sitting ducks, man. They don't mess around with anybody trying to go up and see. I guess from what I've been hearing from my outside sources, how these thieves are getting away with cars is they just drive up, move a car out of the way, and basically just drive the cars out a lot. And security was saying that they have chop shops over in Detroit, which is like, I guess, like an hour and a half away from Lansing. But uh, you can see that 496, the main highway, is it's right off the highway. So, I mean, uh, it's kind of a, I can see how this could be a hot spot for, you know, thieves trying to just get in, get the car, get out. I guess this is a more common occurrence than what I thought. So, which is pretty unfortunate. I did get some good shots, and here's what I'm, I'm gonna show you guys. Google Maps, this is a satellite image, and this is what, kind of what I thought I was walking into <laughs> no that's not even close man and trust me what you're gonna see is it, it doesn't do it any justice trust me you need to be there and see it in person to understand just the magnitude of you know how many cars I know I did a poll and it said that you might be, you know, wanting to see your car on the video. I, I forget about it. I couldn't even find my own car and I was there in person. So, I mean, you could take a look at the footage, uh, wherever your OnStar says it is, I probably wouldn't trust it. And yeah, I'll just go ahead and play it.
These cars are not buried. They are not, I mean, you can tell there are thousands of cars here. Uh, you can, I, as I pointed out, you can see all the areas where they're waiting for parts and you can see that big area where it's waiting to deliver. Now, I did get a little up close, uh, still not breaking any laws, still staying within legal boundaries, but I was able to get uh, a zoom in shot of like the area where my OnStar was saying my car was. And this shot was the area that was ready to ship. Now this is the area where my OnStar says my car is approximately. So I was trying to, you know, try to see if it was, I could see my car. I thought it was pretty cool. I could literally could have sat there and just watched the operation go and kind of looked at the cars and I could have sat there all day. Uh, I, I found it to be super, super interesting. You know, obviously security is not gonna want you there and checking it out, but I mean, hey, whatever. As long as you stay on public property, you're not breaking any laws, who really cares what they think? Uh, as far as I'm concerned, they have my property and I don't see how I'm breaking any rules trying to see my own car, which I've paid for it, which is mine. Now in my last video, I noticed that there's some people in the comment section which actually have some firsthand experience working there or just being living there. So, uh, you know, don't be shy. You know, any questions, drop it below. Hope you guys are having an awesome day. That's where I'm gonna leave it. And we will see you guys on the next video. Take it easy.